Okay, hopefully it's fixed now. Can you hear me? Can you yeah. see me? I can't see you. Hmm. I can't hear you. I can't see you too. Hello. Can you Black see me? Roses. Can you see me now? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, better to use this one. All right, great. Okay. Oh, I hope it will work better now. Okay, so we were talking about the snow sports. Yeah, snow yeah, sports. Okay, ski, snowboarding, and sledding. sledding. All right, good what work. Is, hmm? What is sledding? Sledding is this one. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have we have skiing, snowboarding. If you don't know this, write it down. We need to make notes. Okay, so skiing, snowboarding, and sledding. Yeah, sledding. Okay, any questions? Mm, no questions. Good work. Let's go. Conjunctions, because and so. I was tired, so I went to bed. I went to bed because I was tired. Can you give me an example using so? Mm. I was sleepy, so I, I went to bed early. Very good. I was so tired. Why am I typing it? <laughs> you must type it. Do the next one, please, because. Give a sentence with because. I do, I know. I, Waiting. Uh, I am hungry. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I think yeah. it's I think Black it's Black your Black internet. Black. Your screen is just going black the whole time. Yes, my internet is this is Okay, your internet is okay, but it, it's not great. Um, is the weather bad? Um, What's the weather like today? Uh, it's cold. Cold, oh, okay, it's windy here today by me. Okay, so because, we need a sentence with because. Okay. 
because I mm, I went to the market because I was hungry. Good job. I went to the market because I was hungry. Good. Nice. Infinitive of purpose. Okay, so John went to the door to open it. All right, so it's when we use to yeah. and the verb. Yes. Um, John went to the door to close it. Okay? Yes. Questions? No. Present and past continuous. What is present continuous? Present continuous is something that happened in... Oh, you are frozen. No, I'm, I'm staying like that. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to answer. <laughs> yes. Mm. Present continuous is mm, something that mm, happened in the past. Mm, but... huh? 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 Present huh? continuous is not past tense. No. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Present continuous is something that happens now. Yes, and that is still happening, right? Yes. They are swimming in the water. They are still in the water. They are swimming as we speak, okay? Present continuous. Okay, so we have present continuous. She is sitting on her chair. Yes. We are busy with English class. We are, ha sorry, we are having English class today. Now, okay, good. Past continuous, what is past continuous tense? Yes. Past what is it? Con past continuous tense is something that happened in the past mm, but, mm, oh is something that happened now in the past <laughs> mm -mm. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh. Mm, let me think. How do I explain? Uh, past continuous tense is okay. It is when you say was walking. Okay, or having. Okay. Yes. Mm, raining. Okay. So you're describing any past event or condition which continued, which was continuing, right? Yes. Okay, for example, last night while you were watching TV. Yes. Okay, well, sorry, last night while you were having dinner did you watch tv so that means they watched tv for a while for a long time maybe you know yes okay um for example yesterday while walking did you see any dogs
while walking yesterday, did you see any dogs? Okay, so we can say it in two ways. Yes. Okay, both are correct. Good. Okay, questions? Question no. Do no. you understand? Yes. I Good am. work, Amy. Proud of you, my superstar. Okay. All right. So, Amy, I don't know if you heard the news. Mm -hmm. What news? At the end of this month, I will not be here anymore. Uh, yes. Did you hear? Yes. Okay, so they will give you another teacher. In March. Okay, so I'm sad. I'm going to miss you. But we need to enjoy our time together this month, okay? okay? All right, all right, so let's have a look. Which person won the bike race? Yes. Hmm. Which person won the bike race? Mm. The person who won wore red clothes said maybe to the, the girl at number two, the boy at number one, the boy at number four, and forgot. Listen to the question. Yes. What are you doing, Amy? Which person, yeah. which person is going to win this race? Which one do yeah. you think will win? Um, I, I am thinking. Okay, can't take you that long to think. Oh. Which person will win the race? Mm, I think mm, mm, the, oh, I think the gun number two will win. <laughs> and nothing's at the back. How is she going to win? She's at the back. She's behind number one even, so definitely not. Who will win the race? Who will come first in this race? Mm. Socks with a bucket. And wore a helmet with stripes. Mm. I think the by number four will win. Okay, good work. Nice, much better. Okay, so 
All right, so I actually thought number three will win. They are in front. <laughs> okay, they are in front, they're doing so well. But here we can read, the person who won wore red gloves. So here, yes. red gloves. Red gloves, um, has shorts without pockets. There's no pockets there. Forgot his sunglasses, no sunglasses. Uh, wore a helmet with stripes, helmet with stripes. And their bike had some stripes on it, black stripes. Mm -hmm. And their wheels look quite unusual. So yeah, good work. Now I think the video is unusual. <laughs> Number four. Number four is our winner. So maybe later on, everybody's going to get tired. And then number four will take the lead. Okay, good. Holly and I went to the mountains last weekend because we love snow sports. Number two. Holly can't ski. So. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So she took her sledge instead. It was funny. Holly fell over it just now. While she was chatting on her phone, we took our ice skates as well because because you can skate on the lake there right after some delicious hot chocolate holly got ready to To do, do something, something silly. silly. I skated around the skated. leg. Skated around the leg while Ooh. Holly was making a snowman. Holly wanted to have some more fun. <coughs> So she decided to throw snowballs. Decided. Decided to throw snowballs. He is. Because I wanted more bread. I skied by myself for an hour. Good work. Nice. Okay. Read the story and write the answers down. Okay, so wrong, the wrong suitcase. Can you read for us? Okay. The wrong suitcase. Lucy and her parents, Mr. and Miss Field, put their summer clothes and swimming and sell clothes and swimming and selling things in their big blues suitcase and drove to the airport. Lucy was excited because she was going on a spot holiday. When they got to the to the airport, Lucy's dad showed the tickets and then the family hurried to the bookshop to choose some magazines. After that, they went to get on the plane. Lucy's seat was 
by the window. During the journey, Lucy during is during the journey. The, the journey, Lucy's mom read about a famous ice red. hockey. Mom read about a famous ice hockey team. Her dad talked to another passenger about the golf match, and Lucy watched an adventure film of mountain climbing. When they got off the plane, they took a taxi to a hotel. Wow, said Lucy when they arrived. Look at all the sailing boats. And look, you can play table tennis by the pool. Oh, where's my swimsuit? Can I go for a swim? I can't wait until tomorrow. Not that Lucy, her mother said. We have to take our things up to our room first. When Lucy father picked up the suitcase, he said, That's strange. This feels much heavier than it did before. Miss Build lab. You think that because you were tired after our long journey? Come on, I've got our key. Look, our room number is 501. 501. It's 501. It's mm -hmm. on the fifth floor. They went up in the lift, found their room, and went inside. Then Lucy's dad opened the suitcase to take out the swimming things. Oh no, he said, whose ski hat is this? Why are there three pairs of clothes and all these warm socks in the suitcase? What a terrible mistake. The family had the wrong suitcase. Mm. Okay, so the family has the wrong suitcase. <gasps> okay, wow. So what did you think about the story? Did you like it? Yes. Okay, so they probably took the wrong suitcase at the airport. Uh-oh. Okay, before they got on the plane, the family bought, what did they buy? Before they got on the plane, the family bought some magazines from the shop. Good job. On the plane, Lucy's mum read about some famous what? Some famous ice hockeys. Ice hockey players. Players. And her father talked about girls. Good job. The adventure play film that Lucy's film was about. Film. Film that Lucy saw was about rock climbing. Good job. Mountain climbing. Mountain climbing. Lucy wanted to, so, to go swimming when they arrived at the hotel. Lucy wanted to go for a swim. They went up in the lift because their, rooms, their room was on the fifth floor. Good job, fifth floor, wow. Okay, nice. They, oh, they, oh, Lucy's father, father opened the suitcase to get out the swimming things. Inside the suitcase, they found the suitcase. a hat. Mm. Inside the mm, ski. Mm. Mm. You'll never fit that into the bag. Um. That's it. Gloves. Three pairs, three pairs of gloves and some warm socks. Good job. 
Okay, this story is called, what can we call this story? Mm, we called... Oh, is mm, uh, swimming rice. <laughs> okay. Can you tell me the story? Uh, okay, let me. Um, one sunny day, um, one sunny day, um, a boy is, um, ready, no, let me think a little bit. Oh, when said that, um, takes his son to. Okay, so the children had a swimming race. Everybody was feeling really excited, but one of the boys was feeling nervous. The teacher told him not to worry and to just have some fun. The children got ready and the boy was still nervous and the whistle blew and they all jumped in and raced. And the other, the girl and the boy were doing great. And then the boy that was nervous got some confidence. He was enjoying the race. And finally, when the others got tired, he caught up and he overtook them. And at the end of the race, the boy that was nervous won the race. And his friends were very happy for him and everybody was happy. The teacher was especially happy because he was the boy's father too. The end. Easy peasy. Okay, so I want to give this for homework and I want you to think more about your story, okay? And write a better story out for me. Okay, now hearing my story, you can really hear like what you need to do, right? Okay. So I want you to think of a nice name for the story and I want you to write the story the way you want to write it. 
All right, any questions? Mm, no. Okay, good work. So okay. do your homework and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.